If your ex said you'd be better off as somebody else, watch this video. Hey, I'm Coach Benny, and I help people get their exes back. And before I did this, I was a dating coach for five years where I had to pay a lot of attention to how to create attraction in other people. And I used that experience to help you get your ex back. Now, think back to the course of your relationship. If you've had past breakups or even maybe in the beginning, your ex might have been having some doubt or they had an emotional breakdown where they were giving you statements of low self-esteem. Maybe they said something like, hey, you'd be better off as somebody else. Or maybe they said, you know, hey, I tend to run away and hurt people. They might have said, hey, you're too good for me. I don't see what you, what you see in me. These statements of low self-esteem often correlate to a core wound of feeling broken. And that is what the dismissive avoidant, the person with the dismissive avoidant attachment style, feels. And so when they're saying things to you like, hey, you'd be better off as somebody else, or I can't give you what you need, etc., what they're saying is, is that I don't feel good enough. And, you know, at some point, this relationship is going to come to a crashing halt because I'm not going to be able to come to grips with what you're putting in versus what I'm putting in, etc. So they feel this way. They feel broken or defective because they didn't get that hands-on attention in childhood. Okay, so they can tell something's off in terms of, you know, what their frame of references are for what love should look like. Sometimes they even say, hey, I don't even know if I really know what love is. Oftentimes these people will tell you, hey, nobody's ever treated me like this before. It's weird. And so eventually this becomes overwhelming to them in the relationship because their parents were hands off, you know, and in the relationship when you're super hands on, they don't know what to do. So as a partner to an individual with a dismissible and attachment style, you know, you're going to have this idea that, hey, I'm going to be the one to love you. I'm going to be the one to show up. I'm going to save you. And I'm going to prove to you that you're worthy of love for the first time. And while that's a super noble cause, okay, it is, it is, it's a beautiful thing, right? To give that much, but it's also going to bite you in the ass because that level of emotional intimacy scares the person that's been emotionally neglected in childhood. And eventually they're going to break up with you. And maybe you've already been through a breakup with somebody like this. Now, that's not to say that you can't get them back. You can definitely reattract somebody with a dismissive avoidant attachment style. You can definitely have a good relationship with them. But it's going to involve some cat and mouse, a little bit of attraction. And it's also going to involve some time and going into therapy where you can work on your problems together. And if you want some help with this process, click into my profile. Click this link right here. Set up a call with me. And I want to hear your story. And I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step plan to get your ex back.